Hello and welcome to another video. Today's video is a house build, not a starter build. So, you know, we're shaking it up a little on this channel today. Um, it's a starter build and it's actually based off a house that's quite personal to me. So, it's not my family home or anything, just a, a house that has a lot of good memories associated around it. Um... So as of such, I thought it might be a nice idea to kind of do a get to know me thing while the video's sort of going. So I thought I would introduce kind of me and what I do and why I sim and, and sort of all that kind of stuff that I know I briefly mention in a video or two but that I don't really go into depth about. So um, my name is Alyssa. And I am a student at the University of Otago studying psychology. My major is psychology, my minor is anatomy. It's, psychology is the first thing I've ever felt good at. So I've always struggled with school and I've always struggled with English and my grades have never been great and I've always worked really hard and tried to make it work as well as possible but it just hasn't worked and it's it sucked a lot I failed year 13 the first time I did it I went back and I did it the second time and I did just pass level 12 but I passed NCA level 1 I don't you know this is a New Zealand system so NCA level 1, which was when I was 16, really well. And then my year when I was 17 went badly. And my year when I was 18 went even worse. And then I repeated year 13. And my grades perked up a little bit, but not enough. But enough that I actually got into the University of Otago and... I don't know, getting into University of Otago was one of the most exciting days of my life. I was petrified and excited both of that at the same time. My family couldn't afford for me to go into a hall or a dorm or, you know, anything like that. So I ended up flatting in my first year and I met some amazing people. And I actually had a really good experience in my first year. And... A lot of those people are still with me today and that for me is an amazing thing. But I went into university in my first year and I actually ended up failing my first year of university. Not completely. I actually changed degrees in the halfway through the year and did really well in kind of what I changed my degree to be, which was psychology. And it was the first time I'd ever had this boost that, that there was something I was good at and that there was something I could achieve. And it was during that year, which was two years ago, that I actually got diagnosed with a learning disability called dyslexia. And I fought it a lot at first. I was like, nope, I don't have dyslexia. You know, everybody's screws up words and struggles with English and has trouble getting ideas and thoughts out of their head and while it's the case a little bit it's not to the extent that I have it and that took a lot to sort of accept about myself was that it wasn't my fault all of these years that I had been struggling as much as I had been struggling and that there was an actual reason. And it was a nice feeling. It's not... I've certainly come to terms with it now and my grades have drastically improved and I'm planning on getting my PhD in psychology and sort of moving on and forward. But it takes a lot of work and I think part of what made me want to be or want to do YouTubing so much was because the YouTubing community is full of people who are a bit like me and struggle with certain things or have disabilities the way I have a learning disability and it feels like such a good community and such a good kind of life 
or environment around me and I also thought it would give me a chance to sort of get out of my shell and kind of learn that people are going to be understanding of kind of my disability and that even if some people you know feel frustrated or don't like my videos because I make mistakes it's not it's not going to be everybody as a whole it's just going to be a couple of people and it's it's nice it's nice to not feel so scared that having a disability the way I've got one is going to affect my life in such a huge manner because it's it's not I I really struggle with words and I really struggle with English and I work very hard to try not to have that always show and always be so apparent but it's not like I can hide such a large part of me from a YouTubing community when I am am involved in it and I do have to talk and actually express my ideas and you know keep talking about things and letting everyone kind of know what's going on with my life and so I wanted to be honest and just say sometimes I have hard days where I can't or I have trouble letting words out and I make a lot of mistakes and sometimes I'm fine and that's just my dyslexia and it's just who I am as a person and you know I if you don't understand it and you don't accept it you know like that's just part of, of who I am as a person I struggle to learn the way other people learn and I struggle to I struggle to be more open and coherent and I'll get there eventually um you know we slowly slowly I'm learning how I learn and how I can sort of do me best and that's something I'm I'm proud of I'm proud that I managed to learn and understand better about myself even though I really felt like everything was hopeless and I did feel really sad about it but I just thought that I would kind of address it and talk about you know this part of me that I don't normally talk about so well that's out of the way let's move on shall we no it's it's not I'm not embarrassed about having a learning disability I'm sad that I didn't find out earlier I feel like if someone had ever noticed how much I struggle and it's no one's fault but if it had ever been noticed, maybe I wouldn't have spent years feeling like I couldn't achieve something. I wouldn't have spent so long feeling like I was the problem. I would have understood that I just had a learning disability and couldn't couldn't grasp onto concepts as easily as others, couldn't get information out of my head. And it's just a part of me now. I have great support around me. I'm learning every day how to sort of conquer this and YouTubing has really helped. I, you know, right now I'm doing a 20 minute long video where I talk and there was a time when I couldn't have made coherent sentences off the top of my head the way I'm doing it now. It would have been jumbled, it would have been a mess and it wouldn't have, it really wouldn't have made any sense and it wouldn't have been very kind of fun to sort of listen to. And I'm not saying that this is fun to listen to. Like, I get it. You know, no one wants that kind of negativity in their life. I just felt like I should be honest about why I am not as fluid as other YouTubers. And I really do try to, sometimes I have little notes written down on a piece of paper sort of reminding me oh if you get stuck you can talk about this and that's always helpful and that helps make sure things are a little bit more coherent and flow on and it makes me feel more comfortable to kind of sit here and talk but it makes I feel better to know that I'm not alone 
and sort of feeling a little bit different and more nervous on the internet. It's such a normal thing, you know, we're putting ourselves out there. And of course, you know, I haven't had any yet, but one day there'll be backlash, you know, because I have a learning disability and I don't kind of sound like everybody else and talk like everybody else. And that's okay. That's, it's part of life and it's not my fault that other people will feel that way and it's no one else's fault and if you're in the same boat as me just know that you know we're capable of so much no matter what kind of disabilities we have standing in our way and that we're all we should all be there for each other to help make things better so I hope you guys are enjoying my build so far and my rambling and I'm going to move on to more positive topics and I didn't write down any positive topics, so I'm not really sure what I'm going to talk about. But I guess we'll talk about this build. So this house is my... It's a house that I haven't spent a huge amount of time in, but it's a house that I kind of got a f to feel what my future was going to be like. And I really liked what it was going to be like. And so it does mean a lot to me that, you know, this is the kind of house I have. I this is the house I will hopefully have not this exact house in my future but a house like it that just feels like hope I'm I don't know if you guys know what I mean by that but maybe you do maybe you don't I don't know but if any of you guys um know how I'm feeling or want to reach out and kind of talk to me about it then let me know well you can private message me on Twitter and you know I'm happy to talk to you or like even if you just want to chat about it, like, it's cool. I'm more than happy to do that. So, I've really come out of my shell since starting my YouTube channel. I love everything about being on YouTube from the kind of, the friends, oh, the friends I feel like I've made on Twitter. The amazing supportive network that is simmers on YouTube are some of the kindest people I've ever met and it's incredible that such a community exists out there and yet I mean I had no idea that people were that supportive of each other so I'm no when he finished this house uh, it's a very yeah it's a very long house I'm just putting together the the bedroom now so I was gonna have one kid one toddler and I'm really shaking it up this time with the kind of I guess what I normally do is not this so this house is not a start home not base game and a lot larger than kind of what I would uh, what I would ordinarily go for so I'm really enjoying it and I've never really used those um, lights, I think they're from parents stuff, I've never used them, but they are cute, and I just sort of mix and matched, and really wanted to create a vibrant family home, you know, that was just quite clearly had a family living in it, and it was just full of love, and it's, yeah, it's turned out much better than I sort of expected it to turn out and I absolutely love these children's bedrooms. I'm really looking forward to where my builds are going to go next. I feel like I've seen a huge improvement between now and previously and I'm really excited to see what's sort of going to happen in the future and how things are going to go. So just yeah, I'm glad that everyone's here to kind of be with me for the ride so we can see what this YouTube channel is going to become and create. And I'm having trouble talking for 20 minutes. Man, this is so hard. Yeah, so today I've spent the entire day editing videos. Literally woke up at 8 o'clock in the morning, had breakfast, started editing videos, and now it's 8 p.m. at night and I'm still editing videos. And I guess maybe I'm not very fast at editing, but I had this massive pile of, of videos that had just built up. So I had to voice record for them. And I guess I've been talking a lot today and I kind of run out of things to sort of talk about and say. So I do apologise that this build is a little bit more boring 
And, you know, not as exciting as I'd kind of want it to be. I mean, there's a lot I could talk about. I just feel like, you know, I don't want to give people burdens with, like, flat drama or anything like that. So, you know, it's best... You know, I like just talking about, you know, random stuff. Especially some of the cute items in this build. I adore the French doors going into the living room and going into the dining room. They really are part of the house, by the way. I didn't just add that in. That's really what it looks like. And I'm and I'm slowly putting the house together. Uh, this video will take a lot of editing because I've stopped so much. Uh, I'm pretty excited. My timetable for my uni is actually... Really cool. I'm doing two psychology papers first semester. One is a paper based entirely around research. So I think there'll be some research proposals to write in there. Research proposals are better than psychology reports. Reports are very... You get told 90% of what you have to put into it. And you get told the order. And that last 10%, I feel, is worth like 80% of your grade. <laughs> that last 10% that you don't get told. They do expect a lot because they give so much. They essentially expect you to be getting perfect, kind of, absolutely everything's in your research proposal. So it can be quite tricky and difficult. Especially, like, grammar and stuff is really important in research proposals and... They are much harder than they seem. I know somebody who does both English-based subjects and psychology. And she swears that she would take an essay over a psychology report any day. <laughs> so, I mean, that might show you how hard it is. Although, I will say, the psychology department at Otago, for someone that teaches students the best ways to remember information, doesn't actually let us remember information the way they suggest. So the whole idea is that you're, you supposedly remember information better if you are, like if you do practice papers and sort of go over the content and actually think about it. Our lecturers and stuff don't release practice papers. And for some of my papers, we don't even have any practice exam past papers and we don't have mock exams either so it's are uh, quite tricky being told oh the best way to study is this and then they don't even let us study that way so <laughs> I love psychology and that doesn't change anything for me it's definitely where I want my degree to go and it's nice to sort of have that planned out because when it came to Otago that wasn't what I was doing I didn't know what I wanted to do and now I do and I felt like I would never find out what my path was and which way I wanted to go and so it's a good feeling to finally be there and to understand. So that's enough advice from someone whose life's a complete shamble all the time. Um, I, I actually haven't really gamed at all besides Sims. I mean, I have played Fallout 4 to own, and um, I'm not sure what else I've played. So I've been thinking about sort of branching into other games and seeing kind of what else is out there and what else I would be interested in doing and playing. And I, you know, if there's something that you want me to play or something in particular that you think would be good, then you should sort of you know, let me know. And yeah, I'm really sorry that this video hasn't been more interesting and a bit more upbeat. Um, I'm not the best at talking for 20 minutes. I find it really hard. Anyway, um, we're just finishing up now by putting in the path and front hedges. So thank you so much for watching. And if you like my video, feel free to hit the like button. And if you want to see more from me, then subscribe to my channel. And you can follow me on Twitter at ToastySimmer, one word. And my gallery EA name is Toast Devil, one word. So T O A S T S D E V I L. And I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>